And we're back. I did read up a little bit on it, but basically what it comes down to is your population kind of decides all of this. So you want a lot of population, so you get a lot of manpower. And the closer you are to the maximum, the less manpower you're going to get generated. So you want to keep up the maximum and also keep up the growth. And you would want to apparently have your warriors be trained because that gives you a manpower growth of plus 16.5 percent which isn't too shabby uh un unblocking this should show us pretty much a decent increase next month there we go ah well it's a little bit all right do we want to collect tribute Sure, let's collect tribute over at our tributary already. So let's have a little look around. What? I don't want to subordinate things. Wait. They can be called into war. They can call us into war, but not force us. So these tributaries do work different than tributaries for other And So we're going to definitely go get him as a tributary. So we'll declare this war. Call all our vassals in here. Call our tributary as well. And have everyone attached to us. A new daughter born. Of course you join. One of our clans has a horde of 2,000. Like we shouldn't be outdone by that. Alright. Also, we want to keep our manpower growth and everything going. Let us add a bit to our retinue here. How's our piety going? Ah, we can get some piety warriors. Now, we don't want light infantry. They make no sense. Money we don't earn a lot. We could get one of these. No. We're going to go with more prestige. Troops. We'll get two more of these. Did I not click two? I thought I clicked two. them down here as well we have to be a little bit careful you're not joining us I will absorb your clan I'll have you know our manpower growth will go down for a while was a defensive pact Let's have our warriors wait on the border for now. Can we raid? Yeah, we can also raid. Definitely a way to get some income going. Also, I forgot do that. If you are attacking feudal lords as a horse lord, make sure to first raid them down can decrease the troops they get to deploy and really make them suffer a little bit before you ever fight them where is he feeding troops down here somewhere so he's not a threat to us as of yet our horde will be assembled before he ever faces us 
Good stuff. So now we have a 2,000 strong horde as well. And as you can see, our manpower growth switched back to 30 plus 30 plus. Instead of something around 20 something. Okay. Um... Yeah, take it out. They're going to destroy something. We get some gold and some population from it. Good stuff. We're going to work our way towards the capital. These are tribal holdings. So taking them is actually a siege that works and sticks. And we will mint for both glory and money our holdings again we're just looking for population growth in the beginning morale of armies is also not the worst thing in the world but population growth is our friend maybe even go for max population i think we're going to increase our max population too let's get some of that going There are 2,000 defenders in that holding. Pretty neat. Why can't we get some marriages with our own clans? Does it just not have anything? Or just not work like that? He doesn't have children. He has children. It doesn't give us a non-aggression pact or anything. Let's betroth them anyway. Why not? So let's check this. We're going up a little bit because the provinces that we control have grown. We're waiting for some of these non-aggression pacts uh, or truces rather to expire as we plunder our way through here. I should unpause. That helps. Generally speak, it helps. Yes. Just keep destroying stuff on our way because we don't care. We are a plundering horn. And we'll go here eventually. But we'll also go here. There's a lot of stuff to take. We're sort of looking for his army. You are still fighting these guys over there. I think you're trying to get land out of them. And power growth is... Oh, look at that. Look who has arrived. Should we give them the advantage? Don't really have any great commanders, but let's look at this, right? They have a lot of light and heavy infantry. They have a few pike, a lot of light cavalry, but we are just basically light cavalry and special troops, which is just for the most part um, mounted archers. 
let's look at this. We attack into a desert against a big army. Granted, we have a bigger army, but just look at this. That's a flank broken. This flank is actually holding pretty well. And there you go. They never really get to the phase where they start mattering. In their strength. Let's go for the capital. So. Oh no. Oh no, not stressed. Stressed not now. It's too early to be stressed. Switch to rulership, getting us a hundred renown. Well, the clans themselves are not really talking to each other much, which is fine. Did split this clan. They are not at their maximum size yet. Neither are we. So we'll just keep plundering. Alright, it's what we do. Manpower growth has gone down again because our troops are absorbing more men. We want this at a good 2-3 thousand or something. Oh, man, power. Can only use a thousand more. I don't think collecting extra tribute works all that much. We'll, we'll send them down here to collect extra tribute then. Siege this stuff down. We'll have to fight his army again. Walking around somewhere over there. So they'll pop up here somewhere. So we have around 200 more or so to go until we reached our maximum manpower. Always good to have a little bit of a buffer. You don't want to max it out. I'll let him move. Once he's locked in, we attack. Fighting his army gives a good amount of war score. Oh no, he gets to get away? Not okay. What do you want us to do? You want us to recruit. Our son. Okay, not busy or fighting a war. So we have a much larger horde. He he stands no chance with this. He just doesn't. Nothing that can save him now. We will lose a bunch of troops, which will then have to be replenished. He's walking away this direction. We'll just follow him. And keep fighting him. I think we should also go for movement speed, honestly. Can upgrade something with movement speed. What are these? Oh, that's his... Oops, he's raising there. First we fight him. Then we take care of these.
We're no longer stressed. Life isn't so bad. Good. All right, let's go fight these guys there. So where's the movements? Another shrine. It's very attractive. Global movement speed. It's not... But horde maintenance goes down. Plus global supply limit. Let's go for it. He's setting up new troops there. While we go fight the thousand horses that he's raised there. And they're basically immediately crushed into dust. And he's coming here, which we will attack the second. He's locked into his movement. And we allow him to gather there. Good. And attack him. Created, converted, effort. We attacked our vassal who was raiding him. Shame about that stuff. Let's go now. It's like a little oasis there. Look at that. I wonder if a tributary counts into the landmass to control. Someone was converted to Buddhism. Good stuff. They're clearly going to try and retake their own stuff. Now attacking into the mountains is not the greatest thing with a horde, as you can imagine. Horses aren't ideal for such terrain. But overwhelming numbers and all those things, it's going to be just fine. We've groomed an heir. So he needs to go away as a mercenary to become really good at stuff. But we're going to introduce him into the lodge first. We're not getting anything out of these battles anymore. Ah. War score from battles is reached. We need to siege now. So let's split our army a little bit in sieging. Send them there. He's there. Need a new ambition. Let's defeat fear. I don't know how that works, especially since we We are not craven. Lost the commander. Wow, these are really, really bad. Can't we find anyone? Oh, wow. That's the best we, we can get there. That's really terrible. But it's better than nothing, as it stands. Always have an eye on the clans around you and you want to fight him in a way where you can get next to another thing to attack. These might be a little bit difficult to fight. 8,000. So you want to be away from them. But taking this piece would be good. Would give us access to Right. We are at our maximum manpower. Let's uh, get us some more troops, should we? I think we can go for some money troops. 
Oh, the meat preserver was built. I'd rather upgrade stuff here, honestly. Build them to begin with. I think we'll go with an oxen wagon upgrade. Maximum population 2000. That should also give us some more manpower to deal with. And we're just going to recruit ourselves some more prestige horses there. And we'll just let them sit there and bring them up later. Unpause. Unpausing helps. So, I think what would help me with the unpausing is if he stopped moving if it's... if it's not going forward in time. Come on guys, finish your sieges there. You're almost done. Riding through the countryside, together with my escort, I come upon a lonely inn. It is empty aside from a nervous-looking innkeeper. Oh, no. My guards detain the innkeeper and pull open the floorboards to reel a massive pit of manure beneath the inn. The innkeeper confesses of having been paid to ignite the manure once we were seated, blowing everyone to kingdom come. The so spy master just tried to kill us. Which, you know, to me means this man is not going to be our spy master anymore. What are you okay at? Chancellor. We're going to absorb his clan. Once we're done here. First we change his council position because him being our spy master really makes him a difficult issue. Be our chancellor. And perform statecraft. And then we'll absorb his clan. Oh, we have made friends. With our chancellor. Fine, we're not going to absorb your clan. <laughs> Guy who just tried to kill us. We're friends with now. Need to get out of this war so we can introduce our son to the warrior lodge. Hey. Okay. Oh. So we get a whole lot of prestige now. And we can tell our son all about the warrior lodge. He will go have his trial. Okay. Really need to take care of this. But we can't. We're a nomad. Can't carouse. Can we? We're not Muslim. So we should be able to carouse. I think diplomacy is the way to go for these men. So he has had his duel. And he is invited into the Warrior Lodge. This kid has zero prestige. None. 
they must go become a mercenary. Which takes away from our manpower, I think, yeah. As you saw, good chunk just went away. Oh no, our manpower declines, that's not good. This way he will build prestige. So where do we go next? First let's check if these count. No, these don't count. What is the difference between subordination and subjugation? I think subordination is just a piece and subjugation is the whole thing. You can subjugate one target in your lifetime. First, let's extort some tribute from this fool here. Probably giving us most of his money anyway. There we go. Finally, we get some income going. Um, how strong are you? 6,000. Nothing. Nothing to us. Means nothing to us. So I think we'll do it. Everyone is for it anyway. We'll come. The 2,500 might accept. They're not definitely accepting, so... Not the ideal situation for us. And it looks like they're not coming. Are they? There's a 2,500 that are not part of our army. Yeah, they are. No. Not. Confused. We have everyone now, or... I think we have everyone now. They're just not at full strength. We are back to a little bit of manpower growth. Building an Ertuken, minus 10%. What? What building here? Oh, while we build, it goes minus 10%? We'll have to check that. That is something I've never really paid any heed or mind to. Set our troops down here. There's another 1,500 coming from over there. His armies are somewhere there. He want us to duel our son. Can't right now. We're all in wars. I like being at the side of the map because you can just click on it to deselect everything. Alright, so our inheritance is uh, secured with Liao Yun. Finally generating some prestige for himself. And maybe he'll become a decent person, but we still need more kids. More boys. There are his armies. attack and divide as is custom yeah he loses some learning gains some martial that's okay with us Let's 
find you someone to marry. One youngish. Give her a little gift. Invite her to court. Become a drunkard and bitter rivals with our steward. Good stuff. No? You desire a better non-aggression part. Are you kidding me? Who the hell are you even? Have her as a concubine then. Joking. So he's moving around somewhere here. He'll 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 pop up. Is he leading himself? No, so we can't spy on him. There he is. We'll finish this siege and then attack. So again, it's mainly light infantry on his side. So even though we attack at a disadvantage, we're going to win it. Even with... Ter I mean... Good commanders could still turn this. I'm not going to lie. We could lose it. It is a potential. But as you can see, this is a sound defeat. We were refused extra tribute. Ah. Not good. Let's see, just capital. But we need to siege anyway. Can only get 75% war score from battles. Which is good, but... Ideal. Oh, look at that. Some Khan has made himself independent there. Which is good for us, because we can declare wars there. Take their stuff. Aren't we done with building at home? What building takes away manpower here? Nothing. I don't exactly know what that means. Modifiers. Building an Ötüken. Our shrines. Let's build more shrines. More population growth. Attack him again. And once we have depleted his armies, we'll split up again. Yes, war is more important. Need a new chancellor. And then. Alright, let's set one of our allies to besiege there. Let's send two. Did I actually get it done? We'll just take care of these armies as they move up on us.
Oh good, we have a border with them now. Great, we can attack him. Again, I don't really know if I want the border with Kumania. Because they might be an issue for us. We'll just burn it all down as we find it. So he's coming here, we're giving them all the chances in the world. A crossing into desert over a river. He has all the opportunity to beat us here. Can't make it easier for him. Except for he's facing double the horses. Look at this. Yeah. That wasn't really a question of if... Horse lords are crazy overpowered. Unless you play against different horse lords, then uh, it's not as easy as it sounds. I'd like to be not a drunkard. So we're slowly reducing all his traits in favor of becoming partially ept. I really wish we had another son, just in case. Well, that he would start getting children. Ah, very good. He has gotten his concubine pregnant. That's something. So... We are looking to get another child. So we finish this siege and then attack them here. This siege is almost done as well. Which gives us a good amount of percentage. Maybe we win it with this siege. Let's see. Take stuff and divide stuff. And there we go. You are now a proud member of the Liao family. Welcome aboard. There's a defensive pact. Okay, she's revolting against her liege. We need to attack them. But we can't. We conquered this thing. What do you got? Very little. Go and conquer this thing. People need a little bit of a pause as well here and there. On two of what? Sure, I'll join ya. Our horse died, we need to pick a new horse. Should always be up there. Also, if we can do Diwali, we also definitely want to do Diwali. And you will be called Sky. What does finding a guru mean? Oh, that's no, that's just getting a learned person. That's what finding a guru is. I'm going to pull him in. Very good, he's getting better at war stuff. Everyone attach, please.
I like how that warrior lodge stuff requires you to be out of war. I'm raising this as the glucose revolt. <laughs> it, it amuses me. All right, let's, uh, we will siege and our allies in war will go hunt. And I think we should get us two more horde memberships here. Let's go with a good horse, some heavy cavalry. We are earning some money now. Let's get these and these. Okay, so we have this. Wow. 32. Are you kidding me? Go and convert, my friend. Also need to be our court physician, I feel. Whole lot of scientists again. Come on man, be a shad. Can be our kinder. Clan sentiment is alright. Not great. Clan's liking yours. Means over 60. We need more temples managed by Buddhists. Are there even any temples around here? Are you a temple? Yes. You are managed by a Buddhist. There's another temple. And you're also managed by a Buddhist, I fear. Taoist. Can't revoke your titles. Because you ain't my vassal. Let's see if we can't combine our troops here. Where are we money wise? Still good. So what do we upgrade? Plant sentiment wouldn't be bad. Morale of armies is kind of fantastic. Nomad tax. It's not going to be much. It's something. But it's not much. So we'll upgrade the clan sentiment one. I think. You shall strive to improve indeed. Why are you coming here? Our wife is pregnant and another daughter. What is this? Why are we getting all these daughters? Could invade someone. I'll just keep conquering stuff. I'll just keep conquering stuff. We don't need it anyway in the end. Have some stuff. Here. We don't have money anyway. I don't really get around to raiding because we're constantly at war. We need to set... Oh, no. No. Okay, we're running into the enemy army here. We have 500 troops. Light cavalry, heavy cavalry, and... Stuff. But let's see how this works out. Again, 756 of the enemy. Who are in a defensive position. 
We have killed one flank. This is fairly equal, and we have utterly destroyed them. Yep. That's how it goes. Let's dispatch some maids to take care of our wifey. So I feel this one is going to be fairly fun, but also fairly silly. So we have holdings now that we don't want to have. We can go and pillage it. Giving us gold and population. And we will take a while until it is fully pillaged. And once it is fully pillaged and done, it's going to turn into one of these. Now we have too many holdings, it says. But I think if we take care of this, it's going to be just fine. I will just jump onto the next one. I'll do it alone. I'm not even going to fall in our allies. He doesn't have anything. Oh, he has something. 3,000. Not bad, so we're making a bad decision here. Pretty bad decision. Need to get some commanders that are not these guys. Come on. Oh, we could get him as a commander. He has a potential to die. Good. So this is again light infantry primarily. But as you can see, two flanks are already broken. Well, one they didn't even have. Not a contest. These are equal armies in any scenario. And it's just not even an equal contest. Let's put the organizer here in charge so they arrive a bit quicker. Ah, we have another sun. Good stuff. Very good. He's a dwarf though. Oh, man. should be I almost said humid but that ain't the word not humid why are not converting what are these why are they red independent and cannot be converted all right go convert brother what I hired you for We can catch them still, and we definitely should, before they walk somewhere. Our son has turned into a very experienced mercenary commander. Which is good stuff, because it gives him mercenary traditions. Giving his levy size plus 30%, monthly prestige plus 3, and maximum manpower plus 15%. That's what you want in a... Air. That's what you want. Where did he move his army? Ah, uh, there. They're still running away. Uh, confront our wife, maybe. We're deeply disappointed that you guys are having an affair. So we wiped that army off the face of the map, losing six men. So if we move somewhere else with a lake or something... Well, we, we have a lake here, but if we move somewhere to the ocean, like here... We could move during peacetime. 
But for now, we just want to take everything here. Let's finish the siege. We'll probably walk around here and siege something. We're no longer paranoid. We have defeated fear. Let's stop drinking. That's a good stuff. Did I just say that's a good stuff? Yeah, I did. Sure betcha. Let's go for carousing. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. Carousing is the wrong thing for us. We'll stay. We'll go back to business. I think. Let's get some money. Why not carousing? Carousing is lovely if you're not at war, but we're constantly at war now, so... Let him move until he's locked in. Now we attack. I mean, creating duchy titles or kingdom titles would probably help. Because they do contribute to prestige gain. Plus 0.4. There, we've beaten them soundly. They did fight off one of our... Oh, this is a good one. Look at that. Four pieces. These are all pretty damn good. two Khans that would join him. Bunch of troops there. Could subordinate. Or get more tribute. He's getting some support as well. With him we could conquer pieces, including his main holding, which is very attractive. Let's do it, and this time we'll call in our, our vassals as well. Only one of them will accept. That I find quite unacceptable myself. See? We'll immediately go attack. We are in a weakened state. Actually, we're going to attack here. And try and see if we can't maybe catch some of his troops out a little bit. Oh, we should take his allies first. Let's go take his allies. Before they can group up. Because they're definitely going to hurt us. Could raise our vassal levies from here. Let's do it. No point in not using them. Okay, let's... Um... Let's not move these. He's moving here. We need to combine our armies. Let's start moving them off. Okay, we've defeated them like that. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, we might be making a big mistake there. But we got a lot of manpower coming in. And we could increase our horde also. 
Okay, let's see. Let's just see how this works out. Might not go too well. Who arrives first anyway? 3rd of December. And you arrive November. Alright, so we get... We don't get a defensive bonus as such. But our units are better at defense right now. For how they are created. Let's get some more at you. How's our prestige going? Let's get some of these. See, they're better in defense than in attack. So we have some reinforcements coming. Their attacking flank is already dead. Yeah. Three hundred versus one thousand five hundred lost. Let's immediately follow up on the little army that he has standing there. Sadly, he manages to escape. Okay, let's build the hedge maze. And we'll do it ourselves. Clean out all the weeds. So we become unslothful. Allowing us to compose a book. How much does it cost us? 78 gold. Not nothing. Let us compose a book on stewardship. So he sent some troops there and some troops there. Have we seen all the allies yet? I don't think we have. Some of them are still there. Allies will be slow to come. So we'll just sit here. Combine our troops and hope for the best. Need to siege it anyway. Might as well do it now. Are we proud already? No, we are not. So let's add some magnificent... Status, that statues, more kids. It doesn't give us non-aggression packs. It really doesn't, but maybe. Give some opinion modifiers or something. So let's get some patrols with everyone there. Okay, they're combining up. Where does the fountain go?
goes here. So it's not really worth it to build these. They're character specific. Okay, our allies are slowly trickling in. Take local flora. Yes, we'll try and stop drinking. Where is he going? He's going there. We'll go here as well. General opinion plus three. For very little money. We'll do that. He's going this way. We'll just mirror his steps. Couldn't do it. Let us support the local carpenters. And we become a gardener. Alright. Not the greatest trait in the world, but that worse. Let's attack them here. I don't know if it's the army, the whole army, or just a piece of the army that we're going to catch, but we'll try anyway. We get the whole army. Look, someone with a really good military understanding is leading troops here. Good stuff. We'll just sit here and siege nurse our wounds from the battle. The enemy is taking stuff here. None of which really matters to us. Our clans are not really expanding. Population growth and tax. Morale of armies. Population growth. More clan sentiment. Garrison size and fort level. Don't really need to upgrade this, but we will. Probably try and retake this here. Meet him there. Change his mind. Going to try and retake this. Occupation isn't doing a whole lot for him. The stuff he's doing here and. Uh. Doesn't matter all that much to us. What is it with our clans, though? It's good that we were a blood brother with our rival before he became our rival. <laughs> a good thing. So, where are we manpower-wise? Wow. The stuff is going so well, I totally forgot the time again. Uh, holy War for Kumul. Sure, we'll join you. Your rebellion. I kind of want to finish this now. This is really long though. So, ah, we'll finish it next time.